it's very niche in the fact that because we have such a big inventory of parts and we supply so many shops and customers and individuals all over the US or the world for that matter, when they call to buy parts, it's generally because there's a problem with their car. The Ferrari graveyard consists of over 300 wrecked exotics that's been parted out over the years. In this episode, I learned why Russ and Tim got into the parts business and how important the business is to the car community. So being in a position of them calling, I'm in a position to buy the cars. So I can get the cars generally cheaper than anybody. Um, I think we bought and sold over 30 wrecked exotics last year. Good ones we keep to rent out um, or we just part them out if they're not worth having. Usually I have the parts to repair it, which is the reason a lot of people call to buy the parts or that's the reason they go to get rid of it. Where, how often do you see two 308s piled on top of each other? And there's two more inside, stack. Where's this going, Germany? They ship parts all over the world. Each part is worth money and will be sold. These parts are rare and extremely hard to find. Curtis loves working here. He does. Yeah, he does. This is just what he was born to do. We are really extremely lucky to have Curtis on our team. He is a natural. From 8, from 8 a.m. to noon, I moved every car in here yesterday. Wow. Out of the rack, and you can see the orange beams. I used these racking, me and Tim did it. And then I just bolted them to the old boards. Some of them, we had to replace some of the beams. You wow. see where we shoved those in, I hammered it in. And then just big bolts through that whole thing. Just a big scrap yard, but you know what a if it is to buy one of these things? Because you just can't do this anywhere. You just can't buy a yard and throw cars on it. Yeah, there was 20 of these places out jail. in real Linda and they, they Oh, you can't just you can't just buy no, stuff. You have to buy one that's been like grandfathered in. The only way you get a new one is out in Rancho. You yeah. won't do it out, you won't do it in Sac City no more. No okay. way. You have to be out in Rancho. That's why we paid wow. so much money for this property. Mm -hmm. No. Because we have a salvage license here. Impossible. That's what makes it so valuable. It's easier to get a liquor license or open up a strip club or some marijuana permit, hmm. uh, cultivation use permit, because recycling is a huge part of our industry now. It used to be recycling was a dirty business that you went out with your dad to pick and pull and you would you know, buy a car part and they'd say, okay, it's on the truck, go out there and pull the part and bring your own tools. Yeah. Now it's, a, it's conglomerates billion dollar corporations, publicly traded companies are buying recyclers. One big one went around and bought out most of them called LKQ, which is publicly traded. They're a billion dollar conglomerate. You go to LKQ, their facility, they have a 200,000 square foot facility in Reading, oh, wow. and it's all robots, computer programs, taking these cars, parting them out, putting it in inventory. Huh. Not even people, it's like unbelievable. It's huge business now. We often get offers from people selling their cars because they don't have the parts to fix it. So this is an example of one. I'm gonna give the guy's email away. Called looking for parts. I was able to talk him into selling the car because I have several cars here I'm parting out. So I have the parts to fix it. And this one is not a great car, but it's a 348 Ferrari GTS. And we got it for 15 grand uh, running. Literally everything sells. Know. Everything sells. Everything, because you can't buy the parts anymore. Got it. Ferrari stops making them after 10 or 15, 20 years, and you can't make the shit. Or even if they do, it's so expensive new. Why would someone want to buy a new door pillar from Ferrari for three grand if they can buy this for a thousand bucks? It's used, and it's good. If they get, let's say they get hit by a motorcycle in an intersection, and the dude T-bones their car right here and, and fucks their door up right here. Well, their whole car is not no good. You wouldn't throw their whole car away but you need this A-pillar. Where are you gonna get the A-pillar for a Ferrari? You're not gonna get it from You can Reagan. walk around and see all the cuts. We sell halves. These came as regular we cars. We sell halves. Look they look like one. after the accident. The whole front end's We've gone. gutted them, Sometimes the floor them. pan's gone. 355s are pretty interesting too, because they are chopped up. 
The Ferrari graveyard is filled with stories, and some stories include stolen vehicles and criminal activity. Every one of these have a story. That's the funny thing. That is true. Every one of them have a story. Whether they crashed it, or their daughter took it and wrecked it, or they it just, does. they crashed, you know, they flipped it. And yeah. one day their Ferrari is no longer. I was already gone. Junk your dog. He, is junk he came out around the corner. We bought the property. The dog was, uh, you know, keeping all the fucking vagrants out. Homeless guy walked by when he was dropping off his container, and he just walked by, and Barry's like, Barry! He does not like the homeless. One night, Somebody came in, they must have had drugs in their car or something. They brought their dogs and had their dogs kill our dogs. And they came in and got all their shit. 